Good morning, afternoon, evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 2 class. We were talking about expanding and contracting logs, guys. And if you remember, when you have a product of logs, I can expand that to addition. When I have a quotient of logs, I can expand that to subtraction. And when I have a value being multiplied to a log, I can con uh, contract that to raising to a power exponents. So I believe that we did B and C already. Okay, so we're on D right here. So let's do it. C. Okay, let's do C then. No big deal. So I've got log base 9 of x to the 4th. Okay, we'll start there. Minus log base 9 of 729. Very good. Now, we're not done. Not even close to done. I have an exponent here. I need to expand. So where does that exponent go when I expand? To the front, because multiplied. Exponents go to multiplication. So 4 log base 9 of x minus, okay, 729. This breaks up into 81 times 9, and that's 9 times 9. So this breaks up into the log base 9 of 9 cubed. Bless you. So that's going to equal 4 log base 9 of x minus these cancel 3. Got to know how to expand and contract. If you know how to expand and contract, life gets a lot easier. If you've noticed, log is just a few key concepts. And then it's just expanding upon those. A few key concepts. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, let's do D. Let's do D. Okay, how would I do this with my brothers? Excellent start, log base 3 of 250. Minus log base 3 of... Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm not done. I can break this, pro this into a product, right? I can make 250 log base 3 of 25 plus log base 3 of 10, right? Minus log base 3 of 37. 37 is a prime number, so I can't do much with that. I'm sorry? Um, yeah, because this whole thing is being subtracted, yes. Okay. Now, we still got more to go because I can still break this down. 25 is 5 squared, right? So I'm going to break this down to 2 times log base 3 of 5. Very good. Because 5 squared, the power of 2 goes to the front because when I expand the exponents, it goes to multiplication. Plus log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 2 minus log base 3 of 37. Bingo. You're done. Yes, sir, my brother. What do you mean? That's what I did, 25 times 10, yeah. You have to do log base 3, because this is the base of the log, my man. Because because the log nine and nine canceled out. No, I know, but, but like you did it differently. No, I didn't do it differently. I just saw that since I had a log base nine, I know that if I have log base nine of the same base, they cancel. So seven twenty nine broke down into nine times nine times nine, which is nine cubed. I could have gone further into the threes, sure. But but why would I? You know what I'm saying? In this case, why would I? Because I have to. 
because I have no choice here and nothing breaks down, nothing cancels out. Does that make sense? Okay, now. Logarithms can have many different bases, guys. The log key on your calculator finds the log of base 10 and only of base 10. Okay? The ln key, <coughs> excuse me, finds log for the base of e. However, you can change you can use change of base formula to evaluate a logarithm with any base using a scientific calculator. Change of base formula is pretty clutch, okay? And it's log whoa, something's wrong here. Oh, no, 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 no. No. It's not. So it's basically log base b of m, okay? Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the log of m divided by the log of b. Literally, that's it. You're done. It doesn't matter that you don't have the same basis. The the power of log here, okay, this c is log, it's just base 10. When you log the answer times the base and you divide that, you have a quotient there, that's going to give you the value of that function. So for example, log of 81 Log base 81, 27 equals what? Well, the way we would normally do it is we would go, well, we could do this two ways. We could go 81 to the y power equals 27, right? And then we break this down to 3 to the 4y equals 3 cubed. The bases cancel, 4y equals 3 y equals 3 fourths. That's one way to do it. Nice, simple, easy, beautiful, everything's great. However, let's say we didn't understand the fact that 81 and 27 could have a common base. Let's say we didn't even have a possibility of it having a common base, like some of the ones we're going to see in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log of m, okay, the log of the answer, and I'm going to divide it by the log of n, the log of the base, literally. Now, please be careful here. A lot of people love to do this. Oh, I can cancel out the logs. No, you cannot. Don't do that. Some people will say, oh, let's reduce. Oh, 9 goes into 27 three times and it goes into here two. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Literally, go log of 27, close those parentheses, divided by log of 81, and close those parentheses. What do you get? 0.75, guys. Numbers don't lie. Now, what's the big deal, Mr. Moore? You found three-fourths as well. Why can't we just do it that way? What happens when the bases are not the same? You're out of luck. You have to do the change of base formula. So the change of base is very powerful because you can do it anytime you want, really, unless I tell you like I'm going to tell you. You're going to have a calculator portion of this test and a non-calculator portion of this test. I'm going to ask you to do it to solve these values, get the values without a calculator having common bases. But when you have non-common bases, for example, B, there's no way you're going to break that up. If you go 5 to the Y equals 36, there's no way I can break 5 up and 36 to have common bases. It's just, it doesn't happen. So all you got to do in this particular case is use the change of base formula. So you're going to go log of 36 divided by log of 5, which will equal divided by, so yes, sir, 2.226. Very good. How about for C? Okay. You got 8 to the Y equals 32. You could do this one either way, right? I could break this down to 2 to the 3y equals 2 to the 2, 4, 8, 6, 2 to the 5th, 
fuagata fuagata y equals five thirds right which is one one and two thirds or one point six repeating or if it was on an SAT and you're not restricted by a calculator you could have used a change of base and that's going to be log of 32 divided by log of 8 and that would equal log of 32 divided by log of 8 on your calculator you're going to get 1.6666 which is 1 and 2 thirds which is the same as 5 thirds does that make sense, my brothers? Yes, sir, my brother. Um, if they have decimals, yes, round to the decimals, uh, to the thousands, please, and thank you, sir, my brother. And last but not least, you guys tell me what you got. Go. Do it. What you got? Okay. I. What did you get, my man? Because I didn't hear you. 2.08, you absolutely 100% correct, my brother. This is the log of 18 over the log of 4. And that is exactly what it will equal, my man. Does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions on that, my brothers? Okay. Thank you very much. Hope you learned a lot. And have a great day. Bye-bye.